Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you all of my beauty empties from last year. Now I tried to do this video last year and I had been saving all my empties for the previous year, but we moved and I just could not get my life together to <laughs> move a bunch of empty packages. I just was like, okay, I have to throw out this literal trash is what it was. So I didn't do a video then, but this year I was trying to be good about saving pretty much everything that I used up this year. There were some that were so used, I didn't save every single item, but I'll get into all the details. And so as you can see, we have a ton of stuff here. It just keeps going. And so I'll just uh, get into it. Okay, now if you have been watching any of my videos during Vlogmas, you would know that I have been obsessed with candles recently. And so I wanted to share with you some of my candle empties. Now I don't have all my candle empties because it's a lot, they're very heavy. I just couldn't save everything, but I have some here. And so I just wanted to share some with you. And the first is from Dossier. Now, this video is sponsored by Dossier. They very kindly sent me a bunch of their new candles. Dossier is a brand that makes very affordable, alternative, less expensive dupes to expensive high-end luxury fragrances. And so they came out with a bunch of candles and they sent me some. This is Floral Rose. It is a dupe for the Le Labo Rose 31, and it is an exact dupe of that fragrance. Le Labo is pretty pricey, and so I actually don't own a full size of the fragrance. I have the samples, and I think they actually, I don't even know if they have a candle, but Dossier came out with candles. And what's great about them is they have on all their fragrances and all their candles, they have the notes. So here you can see the top notes are Rose, Centifolia, Cumin, and then you have vetiver, incense, cedarwood, musk, cistus, and amber. And I have used this all up. I did a video actually sharing my favorite luxury candles. And so I, I used this up and it's just so nice. If you want, you can actually save this. Just take the label off and then you can use this to hold toothbrushes or hold Q-tips. So that is the Dossier Floral Rose Candle Empty. And if you want to see what they look like when they arrive, it, they are all packaged in a box here. It's red on the inside, it says love at first match. And then they even have a card here that tells you what the inspiration is. So this is a newer candle. It is Gourmand White Flowers, and it is actually inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, which is such a popular fragrance. I own samples of that, but this is a candle. Mm, yeah, it smells like Flower Bomb. My mom uses Flower Bomb, so it just reminds me of her. Uh, it has the top notes there, bergamot, green tea, freesia, berries, white flowers, orchid, rose, musk, patchouli, caramel, vanilla. Their fragrances are very nuanced. I like how they have a lot of notes and they just all go so well together, but that is Gourmand White Flower. So this is brand new, but I will be lighting this very soon. So if you're interested in picking up some very intensely scented candles, check out the new ones by Dossier. Okay, another candle empty I have here is by JP Candles. This is a small business. I absolutely love his candles. These have a, um, I don't have it here, but they all come with a lid, which I really like because for really nicely scented candles, I think they should all have a lid. This way it keeps the scent intact. It's like capping your fragrances if you just leave it out. I don't know, I feel like it loses the scent a little bit. I will be recycling this very soon. This is the Cold Nights scent tonka and oud very musky and wintry and just very cozy and then i have a stack of the shotgun sized mini votive candles by diptyque the base these smell like berries oh my gosh violet this one was so good i recently unboxed in the diptyque advent calendar and literally smells like violets you know like the violet candies those old-fashioned candies that were wrapped in silver it smells so good yeah, you can still smell it. Even though this is empty, you can still smell it in here. Oh, it's so good. And then Two Bros is also a very creamy white floral. They're so good. They're very pricey, but they are definitely worth it. Yeah, the Diptyque Advent Calendar was one of my favorites this year because it has so many candles. So those are all my candle empties. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a bunch of makeup and skincare. And actually, I didn't have any fragrance. I didn't use up a fragrance this year, <laughs> but let's start with my lip empties. I don't have a lot. <laughs> I have absolutely no lipstick empties, but these are my lip care. This is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Chapstick. I have definitely gone through more than one of these. I use these on my kids. You know, I have three boys. Their lips are always getting chapped. So I always slather this chapstick on them right before we run out the door. But yeah, I definitely have gone through at least five of these throughout the year. I don't know why I just have one. I just... I go through these so much. It's like going through toothpaste for me. But yeah, I just decided to save one for this video. Next up are my most used lip 
products. It is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love these lip masks. Now these are huge tubs. They come with a little applicator spatula brush thing. I never used, I just use my finger. These are the two full size ones. I have several of these that are empty. I keep them throughout my entire house. <laughs> I have these minis in all my purses. I have these full size lip masks on my nightstand, in my drawers. I love this. They have a new scent that came out this year, Peppermint, and it's sold out. So I hope it comes back in stock soon because it's so good. This is grapefruit. This is just their original berry. These are so good. I use this throughout the day all day long. So it definitely is not just for sleeping. Okay, this, I finally need to put this to rest. This is the Chanel Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops. I have tried to get every single last drop out of it. I've pried off the top and the applicator. I've scraped out pretty much all the drops from here. But this is a liquid highlighter. And this is what I use pretty much every day on my cheekbones. I, I pretty much use this just as a highlighter. You can mix this in with foundation or you can kind of do it lightly all over for a very glowy look. But I put this all over my cheekbones, at the top of my cheekbones, and then a little bit on my forehead some on my nose and chin. I, I love this. Unfortunately, the Rosy Light Drops is a special, I think it's a limited edition. I don't know if they still have this, but I've already started using another shade of the Chanel Le Blanc Drops. It's more of a golden color, but yeah, I love it. I love the scent, it's so good, but it's time to say goodbye to this. Now for face makeup, <laughs> uh, I have this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I am the shade N5 True Beige. I am just saying goodbye to this because it is so old. I have to finally say goodbye. So, I mean, it's not technically empty. I can't scrape out every single piece of this, but I picked up some new powders. So I will consider this empty, even though it technically is not. The L'Oreal True Match. This is just a drugstore staple for me. It has the mirror underneath with this sponge. I don't use this to apply it in the morning. I, you know, use this maybe for touch-ups throughout the day, but yeah. Another face makeup is my MAC blush. The shade name is Style and it is a frost powder blush. This is so old. I have nail polish on here. I have to say goodbye to this now. It is so old and it's crumbling. When it gets to this point where they're crumbling, there are ways where you can repress it, but when there's so much pan showing, I just, I can't have it accidentally spill everywhere. So, and it's old at this point. It's hard. It's getting that hard pan. It's hard to pick up, but this is really nice. It's a frosty blush. And so I use it as kind of a blush topper for very glowy, rosy cheeks. By the way, with MAC, if you save six empty products, you can turn them all in and exchange it for a lipstick or an eyeshadow, I believe. There are some limited eyeshadows that you can pick out, but so I always make sure I save the makeup for MAC. This is so old. You guys might not even recognize this. This is the Benefit Brow Zings, and they have completely repackaged, reformulated the way that this is <laughs> sold. It doesn't look like this at all. It's like a lot sleeker. This is definitely older than my second child, and he is five years old. It is time to say goodbye to this. I, I'm so embarrassed to even show you, but I know you guys are going to ask, so I will show you the inside. Look how disgusting this is. So what I like about the original browsings. I don't know if the new one has it. It had a mini tweezer, it had a mini spoolie, and then a mini slanted angled brush. And that's what you use to apply the powder. So look how close. <laughs> so here's the powder. And then you have the dark wax to kind of hold it in place, your brow hairs. I use this so much. I don't know. I use it with a longer angled brush. I've lost all the other inserts. Somehow the, I've managed to hold onto the tweezers, but they don't even really work and it just is so gross. I need, I have other brow products. I need to get rid of this. Let's go through all of my eyeliners that I have here. I'll start first with the MAC eyeliners because I just want to remind you guys that you can trade in six MAC empties for a lipstick. The MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Liner. It usually looks like this. This was some kind of a limited edition for something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like Chinese New Year or something, Lunar New Year, but I really liked it. It was so pretty. It has the rose gold and then the rose gold cap. But these are empty. These are one of my go-to eyeliners. There's the tip. It is a very fine pointed felt tip. Another favorite liquid eyeliner is by Fenty Beauty. It is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It is so good, it's such a minor thing. But I really like this triangle shape because then it doesn't roll off your counter when you're doing your makeup. But this is the tip. Very similar tip to the MAC. Very easy to use. I've gone through a couple of these already and I really like the 
gold packaging. Next is by Physicians Formula. This is a drugstore brand. It is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is very similar to the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Kat Von D went through a whole rebrand thing. I don't know. So I get this occasionally from the drugstore and this is great because supposedly this is supposed to be kind of like a lash serum and it helps with your lash with your lashes to grow i guess i don't really buy it for that purpose i just like the liner but very similar tip oh and here i have a secret here okay see how that's blue another eyeliner that i've used up this year is from sephora I got this when it was on sale. It is the Sephora Colorful Eyeliner and this is waterproof. And I got it in this really pretty blue because sometimes I just like blue. I don't prefer this style of liquid eyeliner when it's a ink pot and then it's a like a literal brush stroke. I usually just don't even use their applicator tip, but I just dip my point. Once this is dried out, I would dip this in the inkwell or even wipe off the eyeliner from the tip of this and then use this pen to line my eyes just because I find it easier. I don't know if that made sense what I just said anyway. <laughs> so this is the Moschino and Sephora limited collection. They did some kind of a collab where all of the products looked like school supplies or office supplies. This was okay. So this was supposed to look like a Sharpie. It's actually a really cute idea, I think. I thought it dried out way too fast. So I just wanted to show you guys. I don't think, even think this is available anymore. But yeah, this is the kind of thing where you're pretty much just paying for the marketing of it. So yeah, marker eyeliner because it's like a Sharpie marker. This one I hated. This is the Ico London. That's where I draw the line eyeliner. I think I got this as a gift with purchase at Ulta. I hate this so much. If you try to make the line darker or try to continue lining your eyes, it would like flake off your skin and it just was so thick and I just, I hated it. I don't like this. And then I have the Chanel Signature Day Chanel Stilo Eyeliner Pen. This one's kind of cool because when it arrives, like when you get it, it comes in two pieces. You have to stick this part inside the tube to like activate the ink or something. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I thought that was really cool. And then when it comes out, it is very thick and very inky. So you have to be careful because it can, at least I found that it was a little leaky on the sides. So I think I even stopped taking this with me like if I was traveling because it it would leak. Okay, next up are my mascara primers. So first is from Lancome. It is the Sills Booster XL. I really like this. I thought the brush was really thick. It really coats your lashes and gets it ready to put mascara on there. I have two of these Dior Show Maximizer 3D Base Mascara Lash Primer. This one is my favorite and I purchased this a couple times. This is a sample that I got, I think probably from the advent calendar but it has one of those very plasticky bristle brushes. Now this isn't my favorite brush, but I like the formula of it. I really thought it it thickened and lengthened my lashes and made my lashes longer, you know, when I put mascara. I usually put this on first and then I let it kind of dry a little bit for a minute or so and then I put mascara on. And then this is the Chanel La Base Mascara Lash Primer. This was okay too. I don't really like the brush and of the three, I actually prefer the brush applicator of the Lancome. Okay, more brow products. So I stopped using the Benefit Browsings kit because I just found that Compact wasn't as easy to use as these brow gels that are on a mascara wand. This is by far my favorite. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. Guys, this is like $3. Literally, it's $3, maybe $3.50. I get this from Ulta. It's so good. The little gel wand is so tiny. This is so good. This is my go-to. I just think it kind of runs out a little quick. This is a sample of the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. I don't even know if they still have this, but it has a primer on one end, which, okay, kind of tiny. And then you have the brow gel on the other side. This was okay. I just think that it's a little overpriced. Now on the higher end of the brow gels is the Dior Show Pump and Brow. Now this looks like it's a sample, but this is the full size. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It has this tiny little wand that has some hairs on it. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little gross. But yeah, it just works really well. It keeps my brows in place. It's a great shade. I think it comes, I don't know what other shades it comes in, but um, so yeah, this is my go-to. So I always have this one and then I get this as a backup. This one lasts a really long too. And you can also squeeze the formula inside and you can kind of feel the brush and you can really like get in there and get the last 
drop of the brow gel. Oh my gosh, we have so much more. I don't even know how to get through all this. These are all the mascaras that I've been through. And I, just to save you some time, let me start off with the ones that I did not like. I did not like this one. Now, the L'Oreal Voluminous is my favorite drugstore mascara, but I do not like the waterproof version. It was like impossible for me to remove. And I think I almost had an allergic reaction to it. My eyes have gotten pretty sensitive over the years, I've noticed. And so I just can't be tugging and pulling at my eyes and my eyelids to be removing makeup. So I just steer clear from waterproof mascara. So that's just my personal thing. But yeah, I did not like this one, but I do like the regular voluminous L'Oreal mascara. Okay, this Chanel mascara, this was a huge thing when it came out. This is the Le Volume Stretch de Chanel. I don't like this, you guys. <laughs> I got it. I don't really like it. I hate, hate, the wand. Do you guys see the wand? It's supposed to be this really innovative wand, spirally. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I thought that it didn't really give length. I didn't think it really gave volume. It smudged pretty quick. And for the price, I just was not impressed. Okay, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I actually really like this. I really like this wand. The shape is like a bell, bell curve. Is that what it's called? Reverse bell curve. <laughs> it's thicker on the ends. This just can really coat every single eyelash and it really gave my eyelashes a lot of volume and lift and length. So I really like this. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I think it was Jessica Braun who just raved about this and I was going to pick it up but then this actually came with the advent calendar that I got last year. You guys, I hate this. I mean, it was okay. It just, it didn't really do anything for me. And I think a lot of it is I just hate this wand. It's just like plastic sticks coming out. It didn't really grab at any of my lashes. I think that if I use the formula maybe with a different wand, that might work, but you know, who's gonna do that? Oh, I forgot. Okay, this is my other favorite drugstore mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. This one makes you look like you have false eyelashes. I swear, it doesn't give it thickness or volume, but it just makes it so long. I really like this. I hate the smell. The smell makes me sick, but it's so good. Okay, the Lancome Idole Lash. I actually like this. This I got as a gift with purchase, but I really liked it. I thought I would hate it because I don't like this type of plasticky type wand, but I like that it curved. I don't know, I just, thought it was easy to use and it I thought it really worked on my eyelashes. I would get this again. The Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. This one I think was in my Dior Advent Calendar. This one I would purchase for sure. I love the brush. I love the shape. I like the formula. I like when it has a lot of <laughs> mascara on one end so you can really get in there and like get it on your lashes. The brush is nice and thick. It really gets all your lashes and it doesn't uh, melt, you know, under your eyes. Sometimes they just get everywhere. This is a good one. Okay, this IT Cosmetics Superhero. I have a sample, but I've purchased the full size before. This one is really good too. This is a great brand. I really like the brush. Yeah, this is a good one. I forgot about this. I haven't used this in a while, but this is, this is a good one. It really lengthens and it also volumizes. They call it Superhero. I don't know. I guess it makes your eyelashes look like you're fighting crime. <laughs> I don't know. This is a good one though, yeah. This is the newest mascara that came out this year by Rare Beauty. This is so good. Rare Beauty is, oh, who is it owned by? Selena Gomez. She has some good stuff. I'm not always on board with celebrity makeup brands, but I was sent some of these to try out. This is so good. The brush is nice and thick. The formula coats every lash. I love the way it looks. The only thing is with this sample, and they do sell this sample size, which is good because if you wanna try mascara without you know, investing in the full size, you can try this out. The brush is way too short. So because the tube is so thick, you really can't get in there in your lashes with this short brush. So I'm actually curious. I would get the full size to try it out, but I really like this formula, the Rare Beauty Mascara. Okay, the only concealer empty that I have this year is by Milk Makeup. This is the Flex Concealer. And I really like this. I like the applicator when it's on a doe foot wand. I think I wear the shade medium. This actually is a, is a little light for me. This is what I wear under my eyes. This is really good. I like this tube. I think it's really easy to travel with. It's mess free. It doesn't cake and it doesn't line under your eyes. And yeah, this is, this is a good one. For eyeshadow primer, I love the Too Faced 24 hour 
shadow insurance. When I do really full makeup looks, I always wear an eyeshadow primer. I don't really wear eyeshadow primers now because I just haven't been wearing a lot of heavy eyeshadows, but this one I always use if I do a full face. Okay, another primer is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and complexion perfecter. This is really good if you are trying to hide your pores and it gives you a really smooth look. This is again for a very full face, so I don't really use this, but this is a really good one if you wanna do a full face and you wanna have really smooth skin. Let's move on to skincare finally. So these are a bunch of the wipes that I have used up over the year. I really like these Olay Regenerist Micro Exfoliating Wet Cleansing Cloths. I like exfoliating cloths. I feel that it really gets your skin clean. You can really feel it scrubbing and I mean, don't do it too harshly. But yeah, I would get, definitely get this again. Another favorite exfoliating cloth is the Sephora brand. And you can tell that it, it's the exfoliating one because on the package it has these little micro beads. Those are the exfoliating beads. So yeah, I would get this one again. And uh, yeah, I really like the Sephora one. This is a travel one of watermelon and not my favorite flavor of face wipes, but the travel size are great because obviously for travel, it's not too big. Okay, this is my favorite, favorite face wipe cleansing cloth. I think it was Jen Phelps. She's another beauty YouTuber. She recommended these and I really like them. You know, rice water, it has some kind of magical properties that just make your skin beautiful. But this is by Skin Food. This I get at Ulta Rice Cleansing Tissue. Now this one I would not purchase. I actually got this for free from Sephora. They had some kind of a raffle when you went into the store to shop their sale. And so I won this, so they shipped it to my house and I was so excited. This is the One Size brand by Patrick Starr. <laughs> it's called Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. The thing with this is for me personally, this is too big, it's like overkill. The typical makeup wipe is usually like this size, but these wipes are like this, but folded twice or even three times. They're huge, like huge, huge. It just was a wasteful size for me. So I, I wouldn't purchase this. If you have a very, very full face of makeup and, or just if you have a very large face, maybe, you know, this would work for you, but I, I wouldn't get this. It, it's just too much for me. Okay. Some of my favorite eye creams. This is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Gel U eye cream. I love the Hydra Beauty line because I just love the applicator. It smells really good. I just felt this was very hydrating. If my eyes though were very sensitive from makeup, this I found it to be a little burning, which is not a good thing. But then again, you know, you shouldn't use this if you have exposed broken skin. So if you have healthy eyes, then use this. But if you have any kind of irritation on your eyes, I probably wouldn't use this one. It was a little, little irritating. Another eye cream. Uh, I probably would not repurchase this. This is the JLo Beauty. What is it called? That Fresh Take Eye Cream. And you know, very pretty packaging. I like that it's a square because it's easy to open, but I just didn't think it really did anything. You know, when JLo Beauty came out last year, I bought the entire starter pack kind of set and it's okay. This was okay. I, I just didn't think it really did anything and it worked, but I just felt like it was like any other basic eye cream. I don't know. This is the Memond Floral Hydro Eye Gel Cream. I really like the formula of this. It's an eye gel cream, which is very light. It absorbs really fast. Yeah, I just felt it really hydrated my eyes. I would use this before makeup during the day, like in the morning, and it didn't pill or anything, which I like. So a little sample of the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This I thought was very brightening, but it's a little thick. So this collection I thought you should use during the day. It's a vitamin C based. And I just thought it was a little too thick. Like it didn't absorb for me. The Tatcha Silk Peony, this is the sample version of it. But this was also very good. The only thing with this is I felt that it needed more time to apply because it was very thick and it really needed to melt into your skin. So you can warm it up, you know, between your fingers. So I usually don't prefer that eye cream. If I got this as a gift purchase, I would use it, but I tend not to seek out the very thick eye creams because I just find that they're harder to work with. So yeah, this was a little too thick for my preference. Okay, this is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Eye Cream with vitamin C. I really like this. It absorbed pretty quickly <laughs> under my eyes and kept me pretty hydrated. Tap and gently smooth around the eye area may apply to brow bone for additional radiance. Use AM and PM. Yeah, this one you can use AM and PM. Sometimes if an eye cream is too thick, I can only use it at night, but this one I can use 
both times. I would repurchase this. Okay, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye. This was okay. I don't know the price. I think this is a little overpriced. This I got as a gift with purchase. I don't know if I would purchase this myself. Okay, here are some samples. More Chanel, the Le Lift Cream U, and then the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. Oops. I prefer this versus this, the Le Lift. The Le Lift is, is nice, but I just think it's so expensive for what it is. Uh, the Le Lift collection, it really does targets anti-aging concerns. So I guess this is more for my age group, <laughs> but I don't know if I would purchase a full size of the Le Lift eye cream. I would stick with the Hydra Beauty. And then the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. I have a full size of this. I really like the serum. So I bring this when I travel. It's it's very good, very hydrating. I, I love the Hydra Beauty line. I just feel like my face is glowing after I use it. Okay, let's move on to toners. This is the Fresh Black Tea and Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This was their limited New York City edition line. I love this one. I love the design. It goes all around the bottle. It's the New York City skyline. So cool. I was so sad that I finally used this up. This is a huge bottle. And I was like, you know, my, I can save this and, you know, maybe fill it up with, with the other kombucha essence. But honestly, the kombucha essence, it's great for your skin, but it smells very, very strong, like very earthy and almost to the point that, you know, it can turn and then it's almost a, like, it smells like it's rotten. I was just like, okay, I gotta get rid of this bottle. I can't repurpose this or refill it. But yeah, I love the black tea kombucha. I already have a, the regular, you know, non limited edition uh, replacement of this. So very good, definitely recommend their kombucha line. All right, sticking with Fresh Beauty, I have the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream and the Rose Face Mask. I love, love their rose collection. I know that you shouldn't get skincare based on scents and I don't get it based on fragrance, but I appreciate good fragrance. And for me, it doesn't irritate my skin. For some people, if you are sensitive to fragrance and skincare, then, you know, go ahead and don't get this. But I just think it's so good. It's so fresh and rosy and it smells so good. And it really works. It My skin is very hydrated after I apply this, the uh, deep hydration face cream. And then the rose face mask, it's like, I don't know if I have any left in here to show you, but, oh, I, okay, I washed it out. It looks like a gel and it has real rose petals. It's so nice, but it's a little messy. So I actually keep this in my shower and I apply the face mask in the shower on my face. And then I do all of my body care and hair care. And then I wash it off when I wash off my conditioner. That, that's how I deal with the messiness around my hairline. So yeah, the rose face mask and the rose deep hydration face cream. Okay, and sticking with the Rose line from Fresh, this is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This smells so good. I love this toner. It has real rose petals. Okay, it looks gross <laughs> now because it's empty, but I promise when you get it, it's so pretty. It has these real rose petals just like floating in here like angels and it smells amazing. It has this little tip here to prevent all the petals from coming out. Oh, it still smells so good. So yeah, this is the travel size. I've used this one up and then I have another full size, so. Okay, this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love this Dewy Skin Cream. I, first of all, I love the packaging. This is so pretty. It has this spatula, you know, applicator that literally is built into the lid. I don't really use it though, because <laughs> I just, whatever, I just use my fingers. But yeah, the cream itself, you can see a little bit is left. It just, it smells so good and clean and fresh. And it really, really hydrates your skin. So the dewy skin cream, this I use in the morning and it just starts my skin off right for the day. It keeps it nice and glowy. And then even if I don't have any makeup on, I just can just use this and it's fine. This is the Fresh Beauty Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. It is a super lotus night recovery cream. It is very thick, very heavy. This is okay. It's actually so thick that I literally sometimes would put a towel on my pillowcase. You know, I don't want to get in my pillowcase. I don't know. And then I sleep on my back because I don't want my face cream to get into anything. But yeah, if you have very dry spots on your face, Try this one at night. This one is really good. Okay, this is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Okay, if you're trying to do a glass skin complexion, get this, this is really good. I should actually repurpose this, but after you cleanse and tone and use your essence, use this serum before moisturizer and it just makes your skin so glowy and slick looking. <laughs> 
It is really good. This I got from Ulta. Okay, this is a fail. Let's just jump to Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't really like the smell, and this particular <laughs> setting spray was the one that I received in last year's advent calendar that was completely empty. I have a full size of it, so but I just wanted to show you the empty because it was not empty from my own use. It just arrived already empty and had spilled everywhere. But I do recommend this. It really holds your makeup in place throughout the day. Okay, let's talk about Drunk Elephant. So I have the C Firma Day Serum and the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Not only do I have these two full-size bottles, but I have two additional uh, travel bottles. So these I've used up. Now, I will say they really know how to do their packaging. It is pretty innovative. It has this twist top that you, you know, twist, the thing pops open, and then you squeeze out the serum. The only thing with this, and I mean, I guess it's true of any C serum, it turns pretty quick. If you're gonna open this and start using it, you have to use it right away and go through it and use this and don't have a bunch of C serums that you're gonna use. You have to use this because it will turn fast and then it'll turn a dark orange and then it gets kind of gross and you wouldn't wanna use it. But yeah, they actually have a new version that they reformulated where it's the powder that's separate from the liquid so it doesn't get activated until you use it or something. So I'm curious to check that out, but yeah. And then the glycolic night serum. This one smells like hot dogs. <laughs> Do you guys have this, right? Doesn't it smell like hot dogs to you? I mean, it works, but yeah, it doesn't smell great. And then my other two empties from Drunk Elephant, I have the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil and the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This one is really good. It really makes your skin super soft. I use this in the shower because I just feel like the steam from the shower helps to open up my pores and also similar to any face mask. I don't want it to mess up my hair. So I just use it in the shower. You really need to build up your tolerance to this. Don't use it every day. Maybe use it once every few days. Maybe start off once a week and then every few days and then maybe every other day. And then the luxury facial oil. This is a great facial oil, very hydrating. Okay, from Caudalie, I have the Vino Pure Lotion Purifying Toner. This smells so good and fresh. I need to repurchase this. I forgot about this. It's been a while since I used this, but I use the exfoliating pads to apply this and it just really feels like your skin is super, super clean. I love the Vino Pure line and the Vino Perfect collection from Caudalie. Also from Caudalie is the Vino Perfect Serum. This is the travel size. I have several full sizes that I've gone through. I love, love this serum. It just is so good. It's so luxurious. It smells great. I love it. The Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I will be the first to say that this packaging is so cute. And yeah, they really get me with the packaging. I would get this again. It smells like pineapple. It's great. I, I like that it doesn't turn as orange as quickly as the Drunk Elephant, but yeah, it's really good. It has the typical dropper applicator. So yeah, Glow Recipe. Their stuff is very cutely packaged and it just makes me feel young. Also from Glow Recipe, I have the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This is very slimy. A little goes a long way. It feels kind of weird. You have to get used to it, but I think it really works. My skin is still very hydrated when I wake up in the morning. It doesn't feel dry and like parched and dehydrated. Just be careful with this because it gets slimy. <laughs> okay guys, look how many of these I have gone through. This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I love, love, love this serum. I've had multiple multiples of this. I've had the huge supersized one. I have some of the smaller ones and I have these mini guys that I travel with and try to use up. It's good. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is a cult favorite for a reason, it just really works and keeps your skin youthful, I guess, and active. I don't know, it just really works. I like it. This is the Chanel Gentle Biphase Eye Makeup Remover. And by biphase, it has, you know, the two oil and water, or whatever. So you have to shake it before you apply. This is really, really good. I think it's a little overpriced, but it's okay. Sometimes I get this if I'm just trying to get something to get the minimum purchase for a gift with purchase. <laughs> I don't always gravitate towards this, but I use it and it works. Now, the eye makeup remover I use all the time is Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I love this one. It works. It takes off waterproof eye makeup. It just works. I soak a cotton pad with this and then I just leave it on my eyes for a while and it just melts everything away. It doesn't hurt my eyes. It's great. It doesn't mess up my contacts. I get this over and over and over. Um, more eye makeup removers. These are okay. This is the Lancome by Facile eye makeup remover and then the Clinique Take the Day Off. They do the job. This one is way overpriced. 
This one I always just end up getting as a gift of purchase. I don't think I've ever actively purchased this on purpose, <laughs> but it's usually like in a sample uh, gift bag. But yeah, these are okay. Okay, I forgot about these eye creams. This is the Saturday Skin Avocado Date Seed Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. I love this. I love the packaging. I love the applicator. I love when it's a pump applicator for eye creams. I just find it, it's very mess free. I've gone through several of these. I keep one right at my nightstand. I put it on my eyes right before I go to bed and then first thing in the morning. I rub my eyes when I sleep so I always have an eye cream on me. Yes, this is very good. It's a brightening eye cream and I do find that my under eyes aren't as dark after I use this for a long time. Also from Saturday Skin, I have the Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid Pore Control Complex. This is the pore clarifying toner. I went through this whole thing where I was trying to make the pores around my nose just completely invisible. And so I am always aware of the size of my pores. So I really like this. I feel like it really does tighten my skin. So this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I rave and rave about this Ultra Repair Cream. I think this really is meant for your face, but I use it all over my body. This, by the way, is a limited edition um, anniversary or birthday. Uh, packaging version of this, their 10 year anniversary. And yeah, I just, I love this. I have gone through several tubs. This is a smaller one that I use for travel and I use it all over my body. I focus on the dry spots and it really works well. It's very similar to, I use Aveeno for eczema on my son who, who has eczema and it works on those dry patches similar to the eczema cream does for my son's really rough dry eczema spots. Two scar creams that I've used are scar oils. One is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Oil, and then I have the Bio Oil. I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know if these work. I did repurchase the Bio Oil. I have a really big C-section scar from my third baby, whom I love, but he had to, <laughs> I had to have an emergency C-section with him. And so my scar is, it's pretty bad. My skin just, it's not great with scars. I, I just get really bad scars. I get keloids. I think at some point there's only so much of these types of skin and scar oils can do. I really need to just have surgery to fix it and take the scars out. But it, you know, I did kind of help with my stretch marks. So yeah, I, I kind of like this better. This one is a little too fragrant for me. So the bio oil, I definitely recommend. Okay, from Lancome, I really love this rose sugar scrub. I use this in the shower. It is an exfoliating facial scrub. So, you know, you don't want to rub too hard, but it smells so good and it's made with sugar, I think. It just smells so good. I just love it. I love Rose skincare. Okay, two more from Neutrogena. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser and then the Oil-Free Acne Wash. So I actually use this one. So this one was great for my face. I, I Anytime there's an exfoliating cleanser, I pretty much try to use it in the shower because I just think it's less messy. The Oil-Free Acne Wash, I actually use this as a body scrub. This is the Oil-Free Acne Wash in the Pink Grapefruit. You guys, I get some body acne sometimes. Maybe it's because I go to the gym so frequently and then if I don't shower right away, I get, you know, some acne on my body. So I use this as a body wash and I think it helps. This is the Pixie Glycolic Body Peel. It's like an all over body peel, you guys. Try it out, it's really good. It just makes my entire body glowing. It's very thick. So again, you just have to slather it on your body and just kind of wait and then rinse it off and it just makes your whole skin glow all over. Okay, two from Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel and then the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This is a cult fave. So yeah, the Boom Boom Cream has that very signature, very tropical, beachy, almond, pistachio, vanilla scent. It's so good. And this is a little sample. The actual full-size cream comes in a tub, which is really nice. And then the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel. It has such a nice lather and it just smells so good. It smells like I'm on a vacation. So I love this. I have already repurchased this. They have a really cute travel set that I usually get and then I bring it with me when I travel. So that's from Sol de Janeiro. One last thing from First Aid Beauty. I forgot to include this. There still is a little bit left of this, but I already have a backup. So I'm going to include it in this empties video. But this is the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. It's this really nice exfoliating body scrub and it helps with, you know how sometimes you get those bumps on your legs or your arms and it looks like, I think it's called strawberry skin. This completely gets rid of it. I love it. It just makes your skin super smooth. So this is definitely on my repurchase list. These are a couple of drugstore body products, 
by Tree Hut. I love this line. They have such great scents. This is my favorite scent from them, the Coconut Lime. It's very tropical. It smells so good. I have the full body scrub. It's literally a, it's a sugar scrub, so you just scrub your whole body with this. But it's a really pretty green color also. And then the moisturizing body lotion I have here. I would repurchase this. I usually wait when they go on sale at Ulta but then I stock up, especially on the body scrub. And then a few empties from Rituals. If you have not checked out my advent calendar videos, please go check that out. And then I have a ranking video and spoiler alert, Rituals won the number one spot for the best advent calendar this year. So I have a few empties from them. We have the Ritual of Karma Cleanse Your Mind and Body Scrub. This smells so good. And then what I like about this formula, it's not just a regular sugar body scrub. It has some kind of a hydrating oil or something where it still feels really moisturized after you're done scrubbing your body. So I like that. And then I have these two. This was from their advent calendar, the Serendipity Opulent Foaming Shower Gel, and then the Ritual of Jing Calming Foaming Shower Gel. This is my favorite scent for bedtime. So if you are, you know, doing your evening shower or bath, I would use this, it's very calming. And then I have the Pillow Mist too, which is really nice. And then sticking with body scrubs, we have the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. This was a really gritty scrub, which is good for if you are focusing on your elbows and and knees. It is a scalp scrub also, but I honestly don't like it as a scalp scrub. I just felt like it was really hard to get all that sandy stuff, you know, out of my scalp. So I really use this as a body scrub. Also from Way, I have two empties. This is the Rose Hair and Body Oil. So I really use this as a hair oil. Body oil, I, I just feel like it would be an inexpensive body oil. I would just stick with, honestly, I use baby oil as my body oil right after I shower and then I put my lotion on after. But this is a great hair oil. And the only thing is with this travel spray, it leaks instantly. So I always actually keep this in Ziploc bags. And so there's just a little bit left that I consider these empty, but yeah, I would repurchase this. It smells really good too, it's rose. Another hair item, this is the L'Occitane SOS Moisture hair mask. It's a gel cream hair mask. This I got from the L'Occitane advent calendar. This was really good. You know, hair masks are one of those things where isn't it just like a really intense conditioner? You know, if you're going to shampoo and condition and then put a mask on your hair, I don't really know what order to use, but I mean, I did feel like this really hydrated my hair. So I would probably repurchase this. This is just a little trial size. So it really was just enough for one use because I have very long hair, so. Now this is the Kiehl's Deluxe Hand and Body Lotion with aloe vera and oatmeal. It is in the grapefruit scent and I love grapefruit. I actually started using this when I was a member of Equinox Gym. And if you guys go to Equinox, oh my gosh, I miss it so bad. It's It was such a great gym, but we moved and there's no longer an Equinox near me, but they had all Kiehl's products in the bathroom and it felt like a spa. It felt like a luxury spa every time I went to the gym gym and then showered and, you know, use the sauna and steam room. So they had all Kiehl's stuff. And so after I just loved it and I would purchase this. So this I got from Nordstrom. I usually try to pick this up when it's on sale. So another hair mask. This is the brand Day, Dye, D-A-E. It's the deep conditioning treatment. I mean, I just realized it doesn't say conditioner. So I don't know if this is a mask or a conditioner. This was okay. I, it was very thick. It did feel very conditioning. I hate the package. I hate the square bottle. It's so hard to get everything out of here. So I don't know. It's just one of those things. See, there's still some left in here. But yeah, if they had a rounded container or pump, maybe that would be better, but yeah. I actually received this from Sephora. I had signed up for the Sephora event and they sent a package of, you know, samples of stuff. And so I had never heard of this brand. It's okay. I, I would consider trying it again. I don't know if I'd buy a full size though. And then another drugstore product, I have the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. This came as a set and I didn't like that this shampoo was 50% <laughs> larger than the conditioner because I use more conditioner, you know, and then it's uneven in the shower. And anyway, I really like this line. This is by OGX. I just find that their stuff is very hydrating and makes my hair really smooth and shiny and helps with, I don't know, growing the length, I guess. For the longest time, I used to just stick with Pantene Pro-V and really other inexpensive drugstore brands. And then a hairstylist, several hairstylists have told me, oh my gosh, those are the worst for your hair. They coat your hair to make it look like it's really shiny and healthy, but it actually is just buildup and gunk that you don't want in your hair. So, but this is a good brand. So if you're looking for a drugstore hair brand, I would recommend this. I would repurchase this if they're on sale. And then from Kerastase, I have recommended this over and over again. I love this line. I, I love the brand and I love this collection. This is the Kerastase Resistance Extensionist Collection. This is for when you are trying to grow your hair long and you find that it's breaking. I just really felt that this worked. My hair has not been the same since I had my three kids. You know, when you're pregnant, your hair is great and 
thick and luscious, but then it felt like as soon as I gave birth, your hormones change and my hair was breaking and it was just was driving me crazy. So I started using this and it has really helped. My hair is really long now and so I continue to use this. So I'll, I've already repurchased this several times, but this is the shampoo and conditioner. And then also from Kerastase, this is one of my favorite products from their brand. It is the Kerastase Nutritive 8-Hour Magic Night Serum. I love this. It is almost done. I mean, I have quite a bit, but I, I'll go through it and I already have my backup ready to go. So I decided to include it here, but this is a night serum. And you know, just like you use serums on your face, I thought it made sense to finally have a night serum for your hair. And after I apply this, my hair just feels so much softer and really healthy. So I will always, always repurchase this. And actually I was so happy when I saw that they finally came out with a travel size, because as you can see, this is a very heavy, big glass bottle. But when we would travel, I would literally still bring this because I just always need it every night. <laughs> so they finally have a travel size, which I think is great. All right, guys. Well, that is a year's worth of empties. I recommend that you try this out for the following year because I think it's super helpful to see what you actually use and repurchase. And it helps you to make, you know, kind of better decisions. A lot of things I receive as samples or from PR and I just don't like it. And so I don't even bother to go through with it. So if there is something that you truly hate, life is too short. Don't force yourself to use something that you don't like. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.